and welcome back to another video. I'm Charlie, and today we will be installing Mac OS X.3 on my iMac G3. So, um, I've been, I've done this, I don't know, like three times. The first time I did this, it broke it. Then I replaced, it, it messed up the firmware, so then I replaced the board, which had updated firmware to work with Mac OS 9, so it worked again. And then I tried installing Mac OS X on that, and then that failed as well. So now I have the original board back in, and I got the firmware sorted and everything. So it should work now. And I want to get Mac OS X on this because these things, believe it or not, have actually really good speakers, and they actually sound really good. So I want to see if I can try and get, like, iTunes to work on here. I also want to see, um, see what it's like to watch videos on here and stuff like that because... I wanted to have some like videos on display at like maybe a convention or something, like just looping in quick time or so. I don't know, but it's a pretty nice neat computer and it'd be really cool if it had win um OS ten. So I'm gonna be doing OS ten. So this I believe is the is the most stable version the highest and most stable version of OS ten you can put on here. 10.3. You can put 10.4 on here, but I heard it's not very stable. And yes, I did update the firmware from 4.1.9. Uh, before, it was way outdated, so now that I've updated it, it should work apparently, according to this article I read. Because someone sent me this article on how to fix it, and it worked, and I installed firmware while it was temporarily fixed, and now it's working perfectly. So. I'm hoping that the that this will that that resolve the issue. So, but I do want to quickly see if uh, if I can find the firmware somewhere. Oh, this is like cat, stop, please. My video is important. Uh, we should be fine, actually. Let's quickly test that theory. So, I put I have a lot of things on this USB stick. It's a 32 gigabyte, and because old Mac software doesn't take that much space, I use it to store lots of stuff. And rooting everything. As I was saying before, um, I I have all my stuff stored on this um, flash drive that I call Macintosh FD at flash drive instead of Macintosh hard drive. I thought that would be interesting to name it that. But I use this a lot. This is a 32 gigabyte flash drive that is compatible with my iMac. And the and it actually looks a bit like the iMac too because it's like clear and translucent and it has colored plastic. Uh, oh my god, is my cat really gonna knock off my knock down my tripod again? All right, please don't. Anyway, but I'm I put everything on this because it's easy to um, it's easy to switch it around with all my other computers. So I basically just store everything on here instead of putting it on hard drives because it's easier to bring it all around to other computers and also it has more space than this computer does itself. I believe this is a 32 gigabyte and I believe this computer is like, actually I don't know how much this has. Let's quickly check. I'm gonna say like 10 gigabytes or so. I don't know. Built-in memory. Uh, this, no, that's, that's the RAM. So, oh hard, no that's Hardware, uh, devices and volumes. I think it's in this. Uh, yeah, here we are. Macintosh HD. Uh, yep, it's like a 10 gigabyte. There's eight gigabytes available. So I like to save my space because if I put all this in um, here, it would take like pretty much out a whole hard drive. And it doesn't look like much, but I just recently organized it. So, but there is a lot. Like this is the games folder. Got quite a few games, including SimCity. And this is really useful when I want to play on desktop and laptop at the same time. I just save everything on here so I can just like switch it conveniently. I really recommend doing this if you're a vintage Mac collector. And look, I have lots of items. It says seven items, so I have a lot more, but it says only 27 gigabytes available, which is a lot. So that's nice. Uh, yeah, so we have firmware update over here. So I downloaded this from the Macintosh repository. So it should say here that my firmware is up to date. I just want to make sure because I don't want to have to go through the trouble to, in doing it. Uh, updater. Firmware is, and it's up to date with blah, 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 blah. That is good. There are a few other ones that it came with, so I want to see if this, if I maybe missed something. This is the second one it came with. And I'm not sure. Alright, let's see what this is. 
Yep, it should be good now. As you can see, it says I am updated, and this is the highest firmware supported for the iMac G3. So, I'm going to trust it, and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna go crazy, because if this is the highest firmware, so if it doesn't work, then this computer is a serious problem, because I might not be able to fix it if this doesn't work this time, but we're, I'm gonna risk it, because I really want OS X on this thing. This would be a really nice OS X computer, so yeah, we're gonna do this. So let's see if this will load. Oh yeah, and by the way, I got, found some cool icons. This is it for that, and I've changed all my hard drive icons to corresponding computers. For example, all my iMacs have these iMac icons, but they they come in like different colors. For example, this one's a purple one. On my other computer, I have a blue one. So I'll, I might make a video of those icons because they're pretty fun. Anyway, let's see. All right, we're gonna start. All right, so basically, last time my computer died at this blue screen with a loading, with a little loading indicator. So what happened was basically I finished setting, I finished um, configuring the install and stuff, and then it was in the process of restarting. But then the screen all went blue, and there's a little uh, loading indicator. And I'm hoping that this time it's not gonna, it's not gonna like break at that point. And if it does, I'm gonna be pretty angry. Also, I realize the brightness has to be adjusted in the CRT controls, which are like over here somewhere. But I don't feel like taking it apart, so. I guess I'm gonna have to because it's pretty dark. Ugh, but then I'll have to take apart the thing again, but I don't want to take it apart again. I'm so sick of taking this apart. I had to take this apart like 10 times and it's really annoying because you have to take off the bottom and there are like four screws. I mean, it's not that bad, but still it's a hassle. I have to get out my, I have to get out all my tools and stuff and I just don't feel like doing it. So I'll do it when I'm really desperate, which is kind of right now, so. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. I also wanted to mention another thing. I found out this thing that if you look over here in this part of the CD drive, there's this little hole, and if you press it with a paper clip, even if your drive isn't working, it will su it will push it out. It'll put it'll push out your disk. Did you know that? It actually works because someone told me that. It actually does um, push it out, even if the um, even if the CD drive doesn't eject properly, it will still somehow eject it. And um, I found this really useful um, because it's easier than just like getting pliers and just fishing it out, in my opinion. But but if you ever have if you're ever in that sticky situation, I recommend doing that. So yeah. But anyway, uh, it's loading up, so that's nice. Uh, alrighty, let's see. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to make a partition. So we're going to go to Disk Utility, because I want to make a partition to install this on, because I don't want to erase Mac OS 9, because personally, I like Mac OS 9 more than Mac OS 10. Um, except, so, I and I also want to play older games on this without having to use that stupid classic environment that I can never figure out how to use. It's just so complicating. So I want to do a dual boot with this. So I'm kind of going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to let this load. Uh, it takes kind of a while, but all right, there we go. Uh, here's the hard drive. Uh, here, we want to partition this. I hope the partition... I'm going to split this. Uh, I'm not going to give... I don't want to give OS X too much. I want to do like half, but... Yeah, I'll do half. Why not? I can always change that, I guess. Uh, split. Oh, no, wait. Delete, delete, split. There we go. All right, uh, that's pretty fair. Uh, no, no, yeah, I guess so. So I'm gonna name this partition Mac OS 9. Mac OS, no, it's not eight, it's nine. Ah, oh, frick. Nine. And then the size, that's fine. And then this is gonna be Mac OS 10. OS X, or 10, as most people call it. Uh, I'm gonna do extended, because that 
that's all that's how it says so I'm gonna partition Uh sure why not I already I want to mention I already erased the hard drive before because um, it wasn't booting into the operating system without without the need of a CD and I needed to somehow get into the operating system because if I wanted to just run off the Mac OS 9 CD it wouldn't work because it didn't have all the drivers and stuff in, uh, installed on it that supported my flash drive so basically what I did was I erased the hard drive with the CD and then I um, reinstalled Mac OS 9 and then I booted into that and then I did the flash drive and then it worked so uh, yeah let's do it Rip Mac OS 9. Oh, wait, now I'm gonna have to reinstall it again. Eh, who cares? Anyway, formatting, it's about done now. Yep. Okay. Uh, what I wanna do first, actually, is I just wanna quickly, um, I wanna quickly, um, restart my computer and install Mac OS 9 first because. I've been having lots of issues with installing Mac OS 9 on machines that already have OS 10 installed. So now that this doesn't have OS 9 anymore, I want to install it just to be sure because I know that this thing can run both of the both of the things. However, I've had issues with this in the past, so I'm going to see if I can try and restart and then uh and then I want to try um installing OS 9 again. So I'm going to Quickly see if I can quit the installer. Uh, quit. Okay, alrighty, kids. I'm gonna quickly install OS 9 and I'll be back to you in a moment. We complete. We all right, so appears we have an error message. Um, audio extension uh, didn't work, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna restart this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna restart this. And appears to be frozen. Lovely. What? It's in sleep mode. Anyway, uh, the audio extension thing didn't seem to work, but it did finish installing OS 9, but now I have to install OS 9.2 as well because, because um, it told me that the um, firmware didn't work with, um, the firmware didn't work with um, regular 9.0, which is what I just installed on it, so now I have to do 9.2. So, yeah, I'll be back in just a second. Lovely. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna fill out this information. And then I'll get back to you guys. Excellent. And, uh, no. Yeah, back in the day, you had to have internet trials. No internet for me, thank you. Uh, later. It just really wants you to go on the internet. Because, I mean, I guess there are some people who didn't want to use the internet until, like, later. But this whole computer was about the internet. And they they probably must have been pretty pissed when they realized that so many that that people like myself haven't been going on the internet. But anyway, we're finally here and lovely. Um, yeah, so now I'm gonna have to install other OS nine. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna install other OS nine so I can. Uh, so I can install the firmware, so I can install OS X. And I hope that doing all of this will be worth the time. So, yeah. Wait for this to load. And I'm basically just gonna reinstall 
I'm not gonna reinstall it. I'm just gonna update it quickly, and it shouldn't take as long as these at the as the original OS 10 install because you have to have um, OS 9 already installed to be able to install 9.2, which is really annoying in my opinion. So I wish they could have like done something differently. Um, so that you don't have to do that because it would have saved me a lot of time, but Apple doesn't care This computer is like way obsolete to even be considered usable these days, so it doesn't even matter I'm just gonna wait for this to load quickly And you know, I'm just gonna end it here. I'm not gonna end the video here I'm just gonna do the install and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do the install and then I'm gonna come back to you guys when I'm done because this is taking way too long. Uh. Oh great! Now I have to do a clean install again. Ah, whatever. Yes. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be here for a while. Bleat! All right, I am so done with this. I'm, I've been waiting for quite a while. Uh, actually, no, I need to quickly do this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Uh, oh wait. Excellent. Uh, no. Ah, you know, whatever. Alrighty, now that the install has been completed, I'm going to attempt to um, try and install the firmware because I am because um, I believe that the um, that ever since I erased it, the firmware was erased. I'm hoping it wasn't, but we'll have to see. So I'm just gonna wait for the flash drive to load up, and uh, let's see what we can do. I agree. Uh, we just let it do this, I guess. And let's see if this works now. Oh, it's up to date. Lovely. That's nice to know. Alright, so, now that we know that this is updated, uh, hang on. Oh. Nope. Gonna take that away and e there we go okay so the thing is done now so now what we should be able to do is install OS 10 I have been waiting to do this for like a year now and I bought these discs like at the like in January and it's now like a really long um, and it's been a really long time since then so, I'm quite excited to do this, and if it doesn't work and the thing breaks again, I'm actually never gonna do OS X on any iMac G3 ever again, especially this one. Uh, restart. Alrighty, kids. So, we're gonna wait for this to load into OS X, which hopefully won't take too long, and then I'll be back with you. Alrighty, kids. OS X has booted up. So... Now I'm going to install it, and this is the scary part. All right, already got pinwheel for a few seconds. That's a good start. Um, yes, yeah, gonna take a while. Uh, it's loading, loading. All right, there we go. All right, next. Uh, continue. Actually, wait, I should probably read the system requirements first, just in case I missed something. G3, correct. Built-in USB, correct. 128 megabytes of RAM. Well, I maxed it out at 512 megabytes, so it should be fine. 
built-in display, Apple supplied video card, yep, two gigabytes of disk, disk space. I made a four gigabyte partition, so that should be fine. Uh, I see that there's not enough disk space. You have to delete items, not gonna do that. Oh, here's the firmware thing. Uh, uh, all right. Yeah, my firmware should be supported, so I'm gonna continue. Uh, I don't care about this, agree, whatever. I already own the computer, so there's no going back. Uh, oh, it's 10. That's the, yeah, it's the OS 10 partition. And install. All right, so I'm gonna let this install. I hope it doesn't break again, and if it does, I'm gonna go absolutely insane. Uh, I'm, I really hope that this doesn't break again but otherwise uh yeah so it's it's checking for installation disk and stuff it's gonna start installing uh, i'm gonna let it install for a couple hours or how long however long it takes and i'll be back in just a second the magic of editing it finished installing and this was the part where it broke last so let's see if it breaks again oh god this is really scary <laughs> Okay, this is different. There's no loading screen like last time. Let's hope it works. It works this time. Yes, no more death. It does actually work. Let's see. Alrighty, I'm gonna pause this and then when I see something happen, I'm gonna play. And it seems to be working. Because there's there was no loading screen, this is different. I think we did it, guys. Just gonna wait for this to load a bit more. E actually happy and I thought this was the end, but no. I still have to do more. But I guess that's what I have to expect when I buy a three P a three disc set. All right, got install disk two. Insert. And now I shall wait for this to continue. All right, so it just said that the install finished and it ejected the disk. And it worked. All righty, so after the successful firmware update and the actual install, we are now running OS 10. And this feels like such an accomplishment. So I'm really happy. I'm gonna quickly put all my install disks away. I don't need them anymore. Excellent. Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna put in this private information and then I'll be back. Gentlemen, I am pleased to announce that Mac OS X has successfully installed on my grape. After all these months of waiting, I can now finally use it. It, it feels amazing, which is lovely. Everything works, menus, iTunes. I haven't tried iTunes yet. It's the old iTunes with the green music box, music note, agree. And yeah, that works. Uh, oh, actually, wait, I don't, I'm gonna do this later, Never mind. Uh, oh, wait, what? No, whatever, quit. Anyway, uh, but look, if I restart, oh, shoot, if I re, so if I wanted to go back into Mac OS X, I basically have to restart. And then what I do is I wait for it to restart and it works, thankfully. Just gonna wait. 
So as it's restarting, I hold down on the option key and then hopefully, see if this will work. Hopefully, there we go. To bring us to this menu. So if I ever wanted to go back to Mac OS 9, I could simply just wait for it to finish loading. Sorry about the screen flickering, that um, is not my, I can't do anything about it. It's not like that on in real life. But yeah, if I wanted to go to OS 10, I'd go here. If I wanted to go, to go to OS 9, I could just press this and it boots into OS 9. Wonderful. And I've been wanting to do this for I don't know how long. Ever since I first got an iMac like this, I've been wanting to do a dual boot on some sort of G3 machine with OS 9 and OS 10 for as long as I can remember. And I'm so pleasant. I'm so pleasantly happy that I fi was finally able to do it with this iMac G3. It only took like maybe half a year, but we finally completed it. And as you can see, we are now in OS 9. So, um, with that, um, with that, with my success, um, we will now end the video because uh, I'm gonna just play around with this thing. So yeah, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm not even gonna plug anything in this video. Well, actually, if you have an old computer, donate down below, like and subscribe, whatever. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.